here's the install for the uh, cup holders. The first thing you're gonna do, you do not wanna bend this mat as much as possible. We wanna keep this looking as nice and OEM as possible. So what we're just gonna do is we're gonna remove the complete rubber mat. So I'm just gonna grab it from the end, pop it out, and then just kind of pull it out. So the whole thing, there is a long stretch that goes underneath the speaker. We just wanna pull that out and keep it aside. Your cup holders are gonna be labeled right for passenger side, left uh, for driver side. Uh, I don't know why I did L and R, but it just made sense to me at the time. It is what it is. So I'm gonna grab the uh, right side. I'm gonna remove our insert and I'm gonna grab one of our plugs. Now on this plug, it's hard to see, but there is actually a little notch and it's important to kind of pay attention to where that notch is. Uh, Cause that's gonna kind of direct how we're gonna insert this. If you look down here, you have a curved side and a flat side. Your notch needs to be facing the curved side. You're gonna put the cup holder in and line it up with the back hole. And what you wanna do is kind of insert it at an angle like this. So the notch side is gonna go in first and then you're gonna push down on the opposite side to lock it in place. So. I'll do that now. And this will take a little bit of force. So this is not something that's gonna be super easy or first try kind of situation. It is something that you are gonna to need to give it a little bit of effort here to really get it in. And even right now, it's a little bit dark and I need to get a better position. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, and I've popped it in. That took a little bit of effort. Once it's in, you wanna rotate this, this plug 90 degrees. I find the easiest way of doing this is actually moving the whole cup holder with it. Move it 90 degrees, hold it in position, and then push the cup holder back. And doing so, by rotating 90 degrees, it locks it in position. We're gonna do the same for the driver's side. This time the notch is gonna be facing towards the driver's side though, because the rounded edge is that way. So we're going to do the same thing. Put in the notch side in first. Push down on the opposite side. And like I said, sometimes it takes a little bit of effort to kind of get it in. This one's being a little bit more picky than the last one. There it goes. Rotate it 90 degrees. Doesn't matter which direction, just choose your 90 degrees. And then rotate back the cup holder and push it to the edges. All right, that's stage one complete. Next part, slide back in our rubber mat, do the speaker side first. Again, we're trying to keep this without bending it as much as possible. Easier out than in here. Okay, and then we're going to bend in our rubber mat. Okay, push it back, get it back into its original position, and you can push down on the clips, and that's installed. Now, we want to point something out on this install. If you look here, we now have a gap on either end. And that's really due to the fact that we're sticking the cup holders in between. In my own vehicle, and I'll show you a picture now, I used 3M tape along the edge here to hold it in position. I had, what I did is I installed the 3M tape, put some clamps on either side like this, and then held it there for about overnight, basically. And in the morning, it looked like it did before. You're still gonna have a gap along the edge here and here, and there's not much we can do about that. Uh, but in doing so, we're making sure that these guys are not moving. And now this space is a lot more useful for whatever you need to use it for. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, and don't forget to install the inserts. So you have that if you need to hold a smaller cup you have that. If you have a bigger cup, you can leave it removed. And like mine that you can see in the picture, has it working. Thank you guys.